So I am joined with Julian and today we're going to be creating our own keyword planning and mind mapping tool um, for topical maps. What um, what tools are you currently using for, for certain things like that, Julian? So previously I've used ChatGPT and Gemini. Gemini is pretty good to it. And right. then we've run through a couple of workflows, right, where you basically reverse engineer your compared to sitemap. Mm -hmm. and use that for the base of your topical map using AI. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be doing a little bit of an advanced strategy. It might blow up in our face here, um, but we're going to be using Claude because everybody's ra ranting and raving about Claude. Um, I, I know that you've used it quite often as well, uh, Julian. What, what's your thoughts on it? I think that AI is really, really impressive and very powerful. So, for example, like writing content is quite sentient. For, for actually using the AI is very intelligent. The coded tools themselves, pretty trash. Yeah. Like not as intelligent as they should be. Yeah, it, it's going to be interesting because this could either be a life changing event, or <laughs> maybe not life changing, maybe that's, that's the bad lack of words. Maybe it's, it's either going to be something great or it's going to be something absolutely bad. But let's actually get into it. So. Um, what I am going to do now is I'm going to share my screen first of all. So I've just went to key Google Keyword Planner. It's free to use. Julian, what keyword shall we test out? Let's go for something like SEO agency. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll also move over to, to the US. So there's a lot more searches in the US. And we'll do SEO agency um, as the seed keyword. Um, so what we'll do is we'll export this as a CSV and we'll head over to Claude and we'll, what we're going to do is first of all make certain that you have got artifacts enabled which is on the left hand side feature preview and just enable this and then we what we'll do is we'll create a preview and we'll call this um, topical map tool um, and what we'll do is this tool is going to create a topical map based off the Google Keywords Planner that we um, import and upload. So We'll create this as a project and then what we'll also do is our downloaded file, what we'll also do is we will just upload this here and create a topical map from the export that I have uploaded. Click enter. Let's see how it performs. What what what's what's your thoughts? Do you think it's going to get it right first time? Do you think it's going to mess up? I think like that, it will probably work quite nicely. Right. Okay. Because it's using the AI. Yeah. If you had coded at all, and then used feature preview, then it'd probably be trash. Right. But this okay. way around is probably the best way to use it. So um, let's just take a look here. Um, I, I think that it's not done a terrible job. Um, core SEO services, so SEO agency, SEO company, SEO marketing, search engine optimization, organic SEO. My, my only question right now, and you might know a little bit more, is do you think that it needs, that it means that we need to create these pages as individual pages? Or do you think that this is one? I think that's one of the biggest issues there from what I can see from all the results is that they're cannibalizing each other, those keywords, so that yeah. you don't need separate pages for those. Like maybe something you can change in the prompt. It's just making sure that it removes anything with duplicate search intent where you don't necessarily have to create two pages for one keyword. Right, okay. So what we'll do is we will say these keywords are cannibalizing for example um i don't know how to spell cannibalizing can that's a tough one we'll let you off there <laughs> and what we'll do is fix 
this for all recommendations. There we go. Right. Recommendations. Spelling 101 with Kaz. Um, Could be so, a new YouTube channel. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to hope that it's actually um, going to come back with a few better recommendations. Um, let's it looks see. like there's. So it's got the t topic at the top as a bullet point, and then underneath that, there's like the terms that you could include on the same page i guess right um i i don't think it is because like for example industry specific b2b seo services SaaS agency services healthcare legal real estate dental so the, these i would have as individual pages right um and to be honest i would probably have this as an individual um page as well so industry specific i would have that as like the the parent page and then i would have all of the b2b seo SaaS seo healthcare etc as but, individual pages underneath that i mean like for example link building services and then you've got backlink agency white hat and seo outreach you could potentially have those as one page yeah i i think it needs a little bit of work um i don't i don't think that this would be like a a 100% bulletproof topical map um, that you could just follow blindly. Um, like, for example, SEO agency slash company slash firm, search engine optimization services. Again, I, I think that there's a lot of cannibalization. Again, there is a lot of cannibalization. There we go. Um, the following would only require one page. Um, same with, what was the one that you said, link building? Um, let's, let's see if we can get a perfect prompt um with this thing is it, it always agrees with you I, I i've never seen ai disagree with you like it's always like yeah you're absolutely right um but then it will go and do the exact same mistake again have you, have you found that yeah i've seen that the only one that disagrees with me is grok via twitter yeah. or x and it's it's too much <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's grok gone the other way Grok has has done the um yeah I, I feel like Grok sometimes does come back and it's like nope you're absolutely wrong and it's like well am I um but what do you think of this I, I I think that this has come back with a little bit more so you've got core SEO services so you would have one page for SEO agency um specialized SEO services I would probably ignore that. Um, but then you've got local SEO, e-commerce SEO, technical SEO, content SEO, link building, industry specific. So you've got B2B SEO, SaaS SEO, healthcare, legal SEO, real estate, dental, HVAC, international SEO, SEO for platforms. So then you've got like SEO for WordPress, Squarespace, um, Drupal, um, complementary digital marketing services so you can do obviously you've got pages like seo ppc social media marketing content marketing web design seo tools as well um so you've got like google analytics seo audit services rank tracking seo business models this is where it kind of our actual white label seo seo outsourcing um SEO expertise, so you've got consultation services, pricing and packages, and SEO company attributes. Do you think that we're that this is a little bit more reliable? What, what, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it's definitely going in the right direction. It's definitely better than the first prompt that we tried, right? Well, is there anything that you would add to this to make it? Uh, I, I, the, the one thing that I'm thinking right now is having it in a in a in a table like that that's my that's my thing is there anything else that you think yeah i think the table would look nice actually Can just easier add, to read isn't it yeah add this in a table format 
Would, would you say like include parent topics and subtopics? Yeah, I think when I've done previous videos on YouTube about topical maps, people get confused because they're like, I don't know what to include as the top page, and then I don't know what to include as pages underneath because it's not always clear with ChatGPT, right? Yeah, that that that's that's the issue. Like for example, obviously we're we're both SEOs and stuff. Um, and we we understand like which is a parent page and which is a, a not a parent page and it should be like underneath a page. But I think that let's let's try this. Uh, can you add uh, can you add this in a table format including parent topics and child topics from the data you have just given me? Um, and I'm hoping that version four will be a lot cleaner. Um, in the preview section. Um, so let's let's take a look here. Um, I think we're on to a winner here. Um, so you've got parent topic. So th this would be like the the page. Um, um, in some cases, what I would probably recommend is if there's only one parent topic and one child topic just create the 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 one child topic don't don't worry about creating core seo services right because it, it just doesn't make sense um because for example down here if we take a look international seo and then international seo services you wouldn't want two different pages for that you would just want the seo agency um page for example or just the international seo services page but what, what's your thoughts on this? So you've obviously got um, SEO agency is one page that you would have. Then you would have specialized SEO agency services as a supporting page, which would hold local SEO, e-commerce SEO, technical SEO, SEO content services, link building services. Then you've got industry specific. So this would again be another page potentially on your nav bar. And then you've got B2B SEO services. SaaS SEO, healthcare SEO, legal SEO, real estate, dental, HVAC, those would be underneath the industry specific SEO services page, right? So you've got an industry specific and then it would link down to dental SEO or law firm SEO. Um, then again, when it comes to these single topics, I would only worry about creating this one page. Um, so you've got inter international SEO, CMS, integrated digital marketing services, um, SEO te technology services, so SEO technology services, SEO reseller, SEO consultant services, SEO service packages, top SEO agencies. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it looks it looks a lot better. You've got like an actual structure for a website there, and then it, it's easy to figure out. Okay, if there's multiple child topics for the parent topic, then you create separate pages. If there's just one child topic for the parent topic, then just create one page. Yeah, definitely. I I think that it's a little bit cleaner. Um, obviously it gets a little bit messy here. Um, so like SEO technology services. Um. Let's just see what kind of keywords. SEO technology services. What is this? Is this for like SEO for SEO agencies? I I probably the the only one or two that I'm I'm a little bit hesitant on is integrated digital marketing services and SEO technology services. Th those are the only two that I would probably not include. But everything else, like it seems like, I, I would say that we've probably got a 99% um, topical map that's that's probably ready to, to be fully fledged. Is there anything that you would add to this that, that we think we're missing? I think you could, you could always, probably just, you need a scan of like common sense afterwards. So once you generated it, run through the categories, don't just take it as gospel. Yeah. Um, apply your common sense remove what doesn't make sense yeah definitely I, one one other thing as well is um like a topical map can be as as short or as long as you can possibly make it so but and what i mean by that is like for example um let's like legal seo services right if we actually just look look at that right so you've got like you're gonna have like loads of pages talking about um legal seo or, or law firm seo right so law firm seo um 
but you could also do like law firm um link building and that would also be um like under the the umbrella of ranking for law lawyers seo so for example you could you can obviously go a lot more deep obviously we, we've just done parent topic and child topic but you can also do sub child topics as well and that would kind of be like law firm link building or law firm um digital pr services right um, so you you can create or you can go further down into the law firm realm. So you could do law firm content marketing, law firm SEO, law firm digital uh, PR, law firm link building, um, law firm social media or uh, SEO for law firms um, or their digital media. Um, sorry, digital law firm SEO for social media. Um, and that's kind of like um, digital marketing for their Facebook posts. And that's kind of another form of SEO that you can obviously offer as a service and also write about on your page as well. Um, but I think this, this is a very, very good starting point. So obviously what we've done was we went into um, Google Keywords I, um, Planner, first of all. We exported this entire list, which was a total of 911 keyword ideas. And then we used uh, Claude's um, project to actually create the actual topical map. Obviously, there was a, a few back and forths. It wasn't perfect to begin with. But I think that by the end of it, we've actually got a pretty good um, subset of keywords and pages to actually create on our website. What's, 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 is there any final thoughts that you've got, Julian? Yeah, I think that's like a really easy and repeatable process. It's quite simple for people to understand, so it'd work really well for any niche. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, would you are are you cancelling your AHF subscription and your Semrush subscription after we've watched? Already this, did Julian? it. <laughs> as soon as you typed the prompt. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's been a very easy and cheap way of actually doing uh, keyword research and building a topical map for free using AI. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, Julian. Appreciate it. Thank you. And if you guys do want a free 50-minute consultation call with myself, make sure to check the link in the description or go over to casuals.com. Thanks.